The Boston Celtics and Indiana Pacers faced off in Game 2. The Celtics, led by their strong defense, dominated the game and secured a 126-110 victory, taking a 2-0 lead in the series. The Pacers started the game aggressively, focusing on attacking the rim and establishing an early lead of 8-7. However, the Celtics responded with a strong second quarter, fueled by their bench and a 15-point lead with 7.04 left until halftime. The Pacers struggled to keep up, and despite a late surge, they trailed 62-51 at halftime. The second half saw the Celtics continue their dominance, with Pascal Siakam leading the charge. He scored 26 points and grabbed 5 rebounds, keeping the Pacers within striking distance. Despite a valiant effort, the Pacers were unable to mount a significant comeback, and the Celtics maintained their lead throughout the final period. The Celtics' defense was the key factor in their victory. They held the Pacers to 46.3% shooting from the field and 35.7% from three-point range. The Pacers, on the other hand, struggled with turnovers, committing 21 in the game. This led to easy scoring opportunities for the Celtics, who capitalized on them to build their lead. The Celtics' Jalen Brown led all scorers with 33 points, while Jason Tatum added 26 points and 12 rebounds. The Pacers' Tyrese Halliburton scored 25 points and dished out 10 assists, but it was not enough to overcome the Celtics' strong performance. The series now shifts to Game 3, scheduled for Saturday at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. The Pacers will look to regroup and adjust their strategy to challenge the Celtics' dominant defense.